And number nine, we have Demi Lovato. Demi Lovato has admitted her song Skyscraper was a cry for help and none of us really noticed. When the star was 19 years old, she was admitted to rehab for three months and received treatment for an eating disorder and self-punishment. Demi said that the song was really difficult for her to record as it was a cry for help. And it wouldn't be the last time the star would use her music to tell us she needed help. In 2020, Demi Lovato's Grammy performance was no doubt an emotional one and her track Anyone revealed that the star was crying for help. Demi has even admitted that when she listened to the track back, she couldn't believe how nobody listened to the thong and thought, let's get this girl some help. Even though Demi has disclosed that she recorded the song when she thought she was in a good state of mind, she definitely wasn't and none of us even noticed. And number eight, we have Britney Spears. Before we knew how bad Britney was suffering due to her 13 years under the hands of her father's control, none of us even took the time to realize that the star was suffering. From shaving her head to playing dress up with food in a restaurant, the star clearly gave us a ton of hints that she wasn't doing okay. Back in 2021, when New York Times and FX documentary released Framing Britney, Britney would tell the world how she felt about the documentary by posting a video of herself performing Toxic. The star would then go on to say in a caption, each person has their own story and their own take on people's stories. We all have different, bright, beautiful lives, but remember, no matter what we think about how a person life is, it's nothing compared to the actual person living behind the lens. A lot of Britney's outbursts when she was younger have shown us that there was something deeply concerning going on with the star, but instead of taking it seriously, people decided to take it as a joke as they thought the star was just off her rocker. At number seven, we have Kanye West. Kanye West's outbursts over the last few years have definitely been a cry for help, and if any of us truly took the time to realize, then he probably wouldn't be in the situation he is today. Kanye all his life has been pretty open when it comes to his bipolar disorder, and regularly on Keeping Up With The Kardashians, Kim has been really worried that he's been having episodes before they split. Kanye's outbursts seem to have started when Kim went public with her relationship with Pete Davidson. However, recently, Kanye's outbursts have also caused him to be dropped by his partnerships with Adidas and Gap. It's clear that Kanye needs help and all of his actions have been a cry for it. From the beginning, we've chosen to make fun of the star and hype him to the point the situation became worse and it even ruined his career. Now, I know it's so hard to be compassionate towards someone being so much hate on the internet, but it's time we pursue Kanye to get the help he needs. At number six, we have Lindsay Lohan. Lindsay Lohan portrayed some pretty outrageous behavior back in the day. From being under the influence to stealing a $2,500 necklace from a jewelry store, having wedding rampages, and even the time she abducted three men. The star's actions clearly show she was going through something that none of us could understand. Society forced Lindsay to be a perfect girl and it's clear she wanted to rebel to show that she wasn't this perfect girl everybody wanted her to be. With a bad relationship stemming from her father and her brain being impaired, it was only time before we saw this star spiral out of control. Lindsay was clearly unhappy with her life and thought the media attention would make her feel good. However, she took things way too far. Luckily for Lindsay, she did seem to get the help she needs and she seems to be back on track with her career. And number five, we have Amanda Bynes. Amanda Bynes' bizarre behavior was a desperate cry for help and even her family noticed. Amanda's bizarre behavior caused major concerns after she had a couple of relapses, driving incidents, and bizarre tweets that involved her huge crush on Drake and distaste for the media. After Amanda's parents found themselves in a powerless situation as they had no legal options to get their daughter help, Amanda would then cut off her parents and move all the way to New York City just to escape her parents so they couldn't keep tabs on her. Now, Amanda has since cleaned up her act and has shown us a glimpse of her life as she's currently training to become a nail technician. The star has also stated she doesn't have any desire to return to acting anytime soon. However, she has said it would be fun to reprise her role as Holly Tyler on the sitcom What I Like About You. However, it is great to see the star is doing well again because she definitely deserves it. And number four, we have Charlie Sheen. Charlie Sheen wishes more people would have seen his bizarre behavior back in the day as a cry for help and got him the help he needed. When the actor went on a series of profanity-laced rants, the filming for Two and a Half Men would be suspended and Charlie would undergo treatments for addictions following a relapse. Days later, Charlie would be fired from the production as Warner Brothers stated in a legal letter that the star engaged in a dangerous, self-destructive way and appeared to be ill. Charlie has definitely had a lot of time since to reflect on his behavior and regrets everything about it. With two divorces, stress, mental breakdowns, the star turned to substances to show us that he was crying for help. And while some companies took notice of this, no one actually 
did anything to help him, and that's even more concerning. And number three, we have Little Peep. In late 2016 and early 2017, Little Peep seemed to be very depressed and his moods really reflected on his Twitter page. The rapper would go on to tweet things like, enjoy me while I'm still here, and Little Peep might not wake up tomorrow. When Little Peep passed, it was released that the star was under the influence of many substances that led to his passing. His substance use in battle with depression and anxiety simply caused his life to spiral out of control. While the star was clearly calling out for help, none of us truly took the time to realize before it was too late. Little Peep's mother has even alleged that Little Peep told his management team that the tour was making him ill, and they ignored his cries for help and pushed her son onto the stage after stage and city after city, which led to his use of substances along the way. And number two, we have Juice World. Juice World's music has sent a message to the world, and it's been a sense of release for those struggling under the weight of their own mental illnesses. Juice World has been battling a lot of demons since he was in sixth grade, and the star would try to break free from substances. However, heartbreak, depression, and anxiety seemed to cause him to relapse. It wasn't until he met his girlfriend Ali that he truly began to feel in control of his life. Just days after his passing, fans would notice some pretty chilling details in his music. Where we once believed his music was a confession of his struggles, however, it was actually a cry for help and none of us realized. Especially in his song, Wishing Well, the rapper went on to state, I cry for help, do they listen? I'ma be alone until it's finished. As we all thought the star was getting better, his song Fighting Demons would state that even though he got rich, it never made him happy. However, even while Juice World has been struggling and his desire to save those who relied on him through his music has definitely lived on and he's definitely helped a ton of fans get through a tough time. And number one today, we have Mac Miller. When Mac Miller passed away just at the age of 26, he left behind a huge confession through his music that detailed his struggle with mental health and substance abuse. Mac broke out into the scene when he was just a teenager. However, his life quickly took a dark turn when he started staying inside, developed insomnia, and became a workaholic. When looking Looking at the breadcrumbs Mac left behind in his songs, you can see that Mac was pretty open about his substance abuse and his lifetime of struggles he faced. In Mac's song, Self Care, Mac raps about how he's been losing his mind and it must be nice to be above the lights. The star was using his music to beg for help and again, no one paid attention. And it's honestly really sad to see that the industry really refuses to help celebrities when they need it most. And while stars are spiraling out of control, they use it to profit off of them instead. And number 10, Cara Delevingne. Cara Delevingne has sparked major concern after the paparazzi captured photos of the star outside the airport and the star was pictured wearing no shoes and her hair was pretty tangled. After reportedly getting kicked off of Jay-Z's plane, Cara has sparked so much concern that even her family is talking about some kind of intervention for the model so she can get the help she needs. Previously, Cara was diagnosed with ADHD, which could explain her recent behavior. However, there is a pattern we've been seeing with her lately and it can't be dismissed so easily. In the past, she has admitted to dabbling with substances at the start of her career, so it could be a relapse we're seeing. Either way, if the star is in any kind of trouble, she definitely has a number of devoted friends and relatives to call on or who will reach out to get her help through this tough time. And number eight, we have Billy Ray Cyrus. People have been excusing Billy Ray Cyrus for his new fiance, Fire Rose. The couple first met on the set of Hannah Montana over a decade ago when the star was 13 years old. The two started getting close to another, why they were making music together. And when Fire Rose posted a picture of her and Billy Ray Cyrus, fans were quick to point out that the star was clearly being and the couple was using a lot of Facetune to cover up the fact of their enormous age gap. Which added even more fuel to the grooming issue is that Miley Cyrus has been completely strained by the relationship and the once close duo are no longer communicating with each other any longer. And number seven, Ezra Miller. Ezra Miller has come out to apologize for a long list of bizarre and often very aggressive behavior. Many of the allegations have accused the actor of forming a cult and, and brainwashing in the star's apology, he did try to blame his troubles on his mental health and he said he was going under treatment to get help. However, a string of strange tales that start with Ezra breaking into a house to seal bottles to a restraining order shows that the star's behavior is clearly concerning and the fact that Warner Brothers Studios has chose to stand by the star and continue to film with him is even more concerning and upsetting to many. Now, while his actions could be driven by some type of mental breakdown to release pressure, the accusations have been outrageous and handing him big your roles isn't going to curb the problem, and we're just gonna see the stars spiral more out of control from here on out. And number six, Will Smith. There definitely wasn't any honor in Will Smith's actions and behavior at the 2022 Oscar ceremony. We all have had the chance to gather our own thoughts since watching the incident occur between Chris Rock and Will Smith 
and many have worried that Will has been heading towards a mental breakdown, especially since his wife has been coming out with dominating headlines saying she never really wanted to marry Will during her Red Table talk show. Now there's definitely been a lot of red flags to Will's behavior that we should have noticed for years with his insecurities and fragile ego. Since the incident, Will has been reportedly getting himself into therapy and he's issued an apology to Chris Rock. Chris has denied the apology for now, however, after time we may see this duo become great friends later on in their careers after they both forgive and move on from this embarrassing situation. And number 5, Billie Eilish. Billie Eilish has been Hollywood since the beginning of her career. However, her new relationship with Jesse Rutherford has definitely been the center of a huge dating speculation that sparked some concern among fans. After the two were spotted hanging out on two different occasions, and the idea of these two dating hasn't exactly settled well to any of us due to the two's 11 year age gap. Now, this wouldn't be the first time that Billy's been involved with someone a decade older than her. However, Jesse has known Billy since she was 15 years old, which makes her relationship pretty questionable in this situation. Now, neither Neither have yet to publicly confirm their relationship, and with all the criticism surrounding the internet, we probably won't see one until this situation settles down a little more. And number four, we have Selena Gomez. Selena Gomez's recent behavior has caused a fallout between her and her former best friend and kidney donor. With the rift spilling out all over social media this weekend, in Selena's new documentary, My Mind and Me, she detailed her health struggles but gave no mention of her best friend. Now, the two have unfollowed each other on Instagram following the release of the documentary, and her best friend was so irked by Selena's quote about Taylor Swift that she even branded it as interesting in the comments below. Selena went on to say, I never fit in with the cool groups of girls that were celebrities. My only friend in the industry was really Taylor Swift. Now that one definitely had to hurt and if I was Selena's best friend at the time, I would have definitely dumped her as well. So how do you feel about this situation? And let me know in the comments below. And number three, we have Travis Scott. Now Travis Scott is known for causing some pretty outrageous raging incidents when he invites his crowds at concerts into mosh pits, crowd surfing, stage diving, and other wild behaviors. All of his shows teeter on the edge of mayhem and Travis behavior has left him with a handful of lawsuits and he's also been arrested twice on public disorder charges related to the ties of his concerts in 2015 and 2017. The rapper consistently encourages his fans to ignore security measures and rush the stage at large events. Astroworld became a real fatal event that caused some major lawsuits that we're most likely not going to see resolved anytime soon. Travis needs to find a way to feed off the crowd's energy while making sure everything is safe so everybody can enjoy the process and feel comfortable attending the shows. And number two, we have Kim Kardashian. Lately, Kim Kardashian has been sending a damaging message to her young fans with her shrinking frame. Kim's comments about her diet under the pretense of clean eating to shed a few pounds definitely has only increased the pressure of young women to have to feel skinny skinny to feel and look good. When Kim had three weeks to fit into a dress for Met Gala, the star pretty much starved herself and did everything she could to make sure the dress fit. However, her comments about crash dieting have represented a dangerous trend to come back into fashion. With eating disorders in young generations becoming increasingly more prevalent, Kim shouldn't be encouraging her fans dangerous weight loss techniques and she should be showing how important food is to our bodies. And at number one today we have Drake. Following a stunt of fake promotions with Drake and 21 Savage recent album Her Loss, Drake's behavior on the album has definitely caused a stir on social media and not for the right reasons. Since the album's release on Friday, Drake has been receiving a lot of backlash over the song Circo Loco. The controversy stems from the track's opening verse, where he seems to reference an incident that occurred between Megan Thee Stallion and Tory Lanez back in 2020. The lyrics have definitely ignited a debate about Drake's intentions and who he really is after the lyrics have prompted a response from fans and entertainment figures such as Megan. It's clear that Drake tried to gain some clout by sneak dissing Megan, and none of us were here for it. I definitely expected more to come from this Canadian star, but it seems like this once humble side he had has faded away and he's starting to become someone we no longer recognize today. At number 10, we have missing rehab therapy sessions. On Friday night, just a day before Aaron passed, he was supposed to have an online therapy session that he failed to show up to. Aaron agreed to go through the program in the hopes that one day he could regain some custody for his son, Prince. When the star refused to show up for his session, the facility would reach out to his fiance, Melanie, and she would have to break the the tragic news to them. 
Aaron was known to take breaks from his rehab schedule, however, the star just re-enrolled last week and was set to attend an online session. The singer was subject of a welfare check previously, after fans were worried after watching an Instagram live he held. There's no said reason on why the star would have missed the session, but it was definitely a sign someone should have noticed when it happened instead of only checking in the next day. And number 9, we have a disturbing video. Just days before his passing, Aaron went live on Instagram for Halloween. The star could be seen wearing a hoodie and a white cap. In the video, it appeared just to be a regular live stream. However, things took a quick turn, and then the video started to become deeply disturbing. As the star started to sing, Show me if you ever trusted him. My mom told me never to trust him. Aaron then would go on to say a couple of sentences that weren't really coherent, and it would leave us wondering what was really going on with the star. It hasn't been confirmed whether the star was under the influence at the time. However, the vehicle he was captured in was pulled over a couple days prior because of an alleged DUI. And number eight, we have a dark place. Aaron's friends and family believe that the singer was in a dark place and that he desperately needed help. In a video captured in a live stream just days leading to his passing, Aaron read a message from his fiance Melanie which stated that he was going to pass away. The words clearly upset Aaron as the text would leave him to cry and stop huffing on Instagram live. Melanie did tell him if it was true what he was doing, it wasn't going to end up well. She then told the singer she loved him and that it wasn't safe. She then went on to beg the star not to do the to himself. Throughout the live stream, Aaron's fans were very active in the comments, and one even said, I was watching his IG live the other day thinking the guy needed help as soon as possible. Fans would then call authorities to have a welfare check done, and to make sure Aaron was okay, Aaron would then tell the first responders he was sleeping, and then they would leave as there was no additional cause or concern at the time. And number seven, mental health. In an episode of Doctors, Aaron opened up about numerous mental health diagnoses. Aaron would reveal that he he's been prescribed a whole lot of medication to help him combat schizophrenia, acute anxiety, multiple personality disorder, and that he was bipolar. Aaron then went on to say this was his reality and that he had to wake up every morning too. And he had to take a huge amount of medication just so he could get through the day. Back in 2017, Aaron would check himself into Aloe House in Malibu to seek professional treatment for his mental and physical health issues. Aaron went in to focus on issues privately while focusing on becoming the best performer in person he could. At the time, the singer was definitely grateful for all the support and love from his fans and looked forward to come back stronger than ever. And number six, his difficult relationship with his brother and sister. In 2017, Los Angeles court system granted Angel Carter an extension of her restraining order against her twin brother, Aaron. The order was initially put in place to protect Angel back in September of that year. However, it was extended to November 2020. Aaron was ordered to stay away from Angel and her husband in their homes as well as their place of business. Aaron's brother Nick Carter would also obtain a one year protective restraining order against Aaron after Aaron made some pretty chilling comments about Nick's pregnant wife and unborn child. Both siblings felt like they were left with no choice but to take measures so they could protect themselves and their families. Aaron would then claim that his siblings lied just to make him look bad in front of the public eye. And number five, we have speeding and driving under the influence. Aaron has definitely had fair share of run ins with authorities. However, on November 1st, around 10 45, in the morning, deputies pulled over the singer while he was driving an RV. Just before, authorities got the call about a driver weaving in traffic and the pedestrians were afraid that the driver may have been under the influence. Officers, they didn't even know it was Aaron Carter until they pulled him over. After conducting a series of sober tests, they determined that Aaron wasn't under the influence and that the RV was weaving due to high blowing winds. However, in the past, Aaron has been pulled over and arrested for carrying substances in his vehicle. And number four, emotional and spiritual issues. Aaron's manager, Johnny Wright, once said that Aaron entered into a Southern California treatment facility to deal with emotion and spiritual issues. Johnny went on to say he's chosen to enter a facility where he feels he will get the guidance and cleansing he needs that will help him on his music journey he's about to take. At the time, Aaron was currently working on a new album and a live show in Florida. The statement did not describe what facility Aaron had entered into or what issues he was treating directly. However, inside sources would tell E that Aaron entered into a Southern California center for addiction issues. 
At the time, the star was going through a lot of stress and it was revealed that he owed more than $1 million back in taxes. So this all could have led to his spiral downfall. And number three, we have bankruptcy. In 2013, court documents were revealed that Aaron filed for chapter seven bankruptcy after the star owed more than $2 million to creditors, as well as over $1 million in income tax debt and $31,000 to American Express bill. Majority of his debt he was asking to be discharged from was when he was a minor not in control of his finances. In 2014, the star would appear on a reality show called Life or Death and he would reveal that he was still in a terrible position financially. When the star turned 18, he was hit with all these taxes and it was a real difficult time for him to try to get back on his feet. Mostly the star was bankrupt because his own manager stole thousands from him and he was still responsible for paying all the taxes on it. And number two, we have the family feud. The feud between Aaron Aaron and Nick ignited when Nick refused to attend his sister's funeral. In a two-year-old clip, Aaron would claim that his brother Nick Carter stopped talking after his sister's Leslie's passing. Now Leslie and Aaron were really close and from time to time they were more than just siblings because they were actually best friends. When Aaron decided to watch some videos from his family's reality TV show, House of Carters, he saw that Leslie was definitely going through something and none of them seemed to notice. And none of them even listened to her. Aaron even pointed out that his brother one time, Nick, would even turn away and walk away from her. Following the funeral, the two would get into an argument as Nick would say that his solo concert in front of 200 people was more important than attending his sister's celebration of life. And at number one today, we have his stalled career. It's clear Aaron's life all started to crumble after his music career stalled. Aaron was the youngest pop star created by Pearlman, and by the age of 14, he would also sue his manager in 2002 for stealing his money. By 2016, after Pearlman's passing, he would owe millions of music royalties to Aaron. However, Aaron and many of other Pearlman's victims would never see the money and they would be left with millions of dollars they would have to pay in back taxes. After after Aaron was pulled over by cops in 2008, he would bounce back with an appearance on Dancing with the Stars in 2009, however the show failed to revive his stalled music career. Aaron would then begin to struggle with bankruptcy, rehab, and it would cause his world to come crashing down.